Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! How you kids doing? <coughs> Getting old, gonna die. Coffee, maybe some poop mug. Alright. Finally got caught up with all my piddly shit today. Returned an old tire. That's the granular level of my to-do list. That's how, that's how on top of my fucking to-do list I am. I had an old tire that I've had it for six, seven, no, six years. Not seven, six years. It was the spirit of the truck, and after a while it just sits there and it rots. It, your tires actually rot. They dry out for you young kids who <clears throat> don't know anything about tires. Uh, and I'm like, you know what, That's just let's just get that out of here. That's how ship-shaped the old captain ship is. Mr. Clary, <clears throat> I'm currently a mechanical engineering major and I am in my junior year. My IQ is in the 130s range. Up until now, school has never really been an issue for me. I graduated middle school and high school with averages above 90. You took the schools and you graduated them? You own these schools and you promoted them? Every time you guys say, I graduated high school, I'm going to insist we put the word from in there. You graduated from high school. You did not take the high school and graduate it to a college. It is not your high school. It's probably the taxpayer's high school. I don't know how many times I got to beat that. Everyone keeps saying, I graduated high school. With averages above 90 and in early college, I was able to stay in the B range. But as of late, since the second semester of my sophomore year, my grades have been plummeting. Earlier when I had to take English and history courses to fulfill my university requirements, I was able to keep my GPA above 3.0 despite poor grades in math and sciences. I honestly do not know what my issue is as I am used to getting very good grades in comparison to my peers, but this past semester I actually failed a class for the first time. No matter how hard I work, it doesn't seem to be getting any better. I'm starting to get worried. Yeah, because you have taken easy classes this entire time. English and history, ooh boy. Hey, you know the, that that language you've been speaking since you were like two? Yeah, we're gonna start, we're gonna test you on that. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm constantly in panic mode with regards to school now that all my classes are math and science based. This is the, I, I I feel bad for you. I'm not picking on you, but this this happens to every young person now where you've had it you've had life on easy mode. Not even I'd say God mode. You just could not fucking fail. My generation and the baby boomers just pampered your little asses along. And now the first time you run into a real honest challenge, you guys fail and you freak the fuck out. Not, not ununderstandable. Totally understandable. Not even blaming you. But you're, you're used to like, and it is the kid gloves are on. And this, this first challenge comes on. You guys don't know what to do. Uh, and I'm starting to get worried. Uh, kind of in the science space. I often have no idea what a professor is talking about in class, and I'll study for hours on end only to test for a test, only to freeze up when it matters. I've always considered myself a history and writing type of person. It's my passion, man. All right, at least you're honest there. You put it in quotes. It's my passion, man. But I feel like it's just a cop out. No, no. No, no. If my fist was hitting you in the face, you would say, hey, it feels like Aaron Clary's fist is in my face. No, it is Aaron Clary's fist in your face, and it is a cop-out. Like you say, everyone likes to do fun things, and that's exactly why I didn't major in either. Good, smart choice, but damn, it was easy to fly by with A's and B's in those classes. Grades don't matter anymore, okay? They really don't. I mean, the, the joke was, even back in, when I was going to school, that there was an exchange rate for GPA points, that if you, uh, if you were an engineering major, you were going to the School of IT at the U of M, the exchange rate was one GPA point equaled three liberal arts GPA points. So if you had a 1.0, that'd be equal to a 3.0 if you were a philosophy major. If, if you were a, a 4.0 engineering major, that'd be equal to a 12.0 uh, English major. The, you, the grades don't matter. It doesn't matter. Your GP now doesn't fucking matter. The only thing that matters is if you get A's and B's in science, math, and engineering. That's it. I mean, yeah, you, you know, it, this assumes that you're capable of getting a fucking B. 
in these in these dipshit study classes are prerequisites. All right. So so the only things that matter are A's and B's and the shit that matters. That's really that all that matters. My concern is that if I keep on with mechanical engineering major, if I keep screwing up, I might fail out. My father is a very successful investment banker in a particular industry and says that as long as I get a degree in anything, he can get me a job. <laughs> oh, I didn't charge him even extra because it's not, I, he's being on the up and up. But usually when I, I come with money shoved up my ass. It's like, yeah, you get a, you get a little extra tax there, buddy. This guy's on, he's trying to do it. Uh, so as long as you get me a job. Because of this, my parents are strongly urging me to switch out of mechanical engineering into something like economics or history. You see, but that... <sighs> right here, this is exactly it. You know what? Your parents have brought you up in such a... They have done you a great disservice. A great disservice. Your parents have never exposed you to challenge. Never. And now you're freaking the fuck out because there's actual challenge. And I, I don't doubt you for a second. I believe you 100% when you say no matter how hard you work, you don't get it. And then you freak up and freeze. Absolutely. Because you've never been challenged. There's never been a crisis. There's never been, you know. And what's sad is, with, this is, I think I finally figured it out because we asked a couple questions afterwards. But we'll get to it later. I was trying to figure out, you got a 130 IQ. Holy shit. You know, you should be able to sail through this. But there's a slight bump in the road, and most people are, oh, dang, I got I got three wrong, I got a B plus, and I should have gotten an A minus. Ah, that's all right, I'll get it next time. That bump in the road freezes you, now you're going catatonic, now you're, you're crippling up on, on um, tests, and the, your parents' solution is, well, we'll just make the world all that much easier for them forever for the rest of your life, and you will never grow strong, you will never be able to surmount challenges I mean, it, this is the fork of the road. Daddy's boy pussy route, never become a real man, all right? Uh, which I'm not even necessarily going against. I'm just saying, you go that route, you're never going to face no challenge. You're never going to strengthen up. You're never going to have no resistance. You'll be noodle boy, soy boy, arm the entire rest of your life. Not that you physically are, I'm just saying. Or we go down, maybe not mechanical engineering. Maybe you actually do not have the aptitude. You have a super high IQ, but for whatever reason, the math is just not coming to you. I'm also leaving that out as a very valid possibility. But you're not going to go history and economics. You switch. Accounting. Um, programming. Something else. But for fuck's sake, not economics or history. No. You're going to challenge yourself. Because what happens when your parents die? What happens when you find out that your dad, like a lot of investment bankers and regular bankers, I used to know, they invested in those subprime mortgages. They really weren't as rich as they thought. Yeah, no, they thought. No, I take that back. What if your dad isn't rich and he just borrows a shit ton of money to make it look like he is? Huh? That's what I saw a lot in my banking days. Mr. fucking Range Rover dickhead coming up, you look at his balance sheet. Oh, at least that's not your Range Rover now, is it? Matter of fact, none of your assets are yours because, well, you owe us 120% of the assets value because we stupidly lent to you. He's a, he's a powerful businessman. <laughs> because of this, parents are strong urging me to switch economics to history. But I think that if I took my father up on that, and just got a useless degree, I would lose all self-respect and I would most likely be working alongside many other failures who were helped out by daddy like myself. There you go. That's that's the stuff. There it is. My only credentials would be my father's name instead of the result of any toil I put into anything. Yeah. I've gotten to the point where all I think and dream about is school and everything else in my life is going on hold because I can't seem to get this thing together. I've never been remotely good at math. Since middle school, my English and history grades kept me afloat. No, 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 no. They, no, they kept your GPA high. They didn't keep you afloat. They masked your true ability to do shit. Do not misinterpret your GPA to your ability when it's packed with worthless fucking liberal arts classes. All right, when it's when it's packed with with affirmative action, El Retardo, everyone gets an A plus class. I remember taking rocks for a geology 101, called it rocks for jocks, and I took a class, I needed one more credit, and I took a class in badminton, okay? I didn't say, oh, dang, look how smart I am, I got, I got an A in badminton, <laughs> Oh. 
But I don't know what my other options are besides trade school, but if I'm screwing this up so badly, who's to say that I won't completely screw up trade school and waste my time and money there to what? <clears throat> I guess you should just sit there and twiddle your thumbs. Don't try an experiment. You might discover what you're good at. Oh, I might fail. You're right, you might fail. Don't ask that redhead out with gorgeous huge titties. <laughs> she might say no. You wouldn't want that to happen, now would you? You just sit there and play your video games. Right now I think I might take a semester or a year off to do something actually really hard like working on an oil rig so that I know what real hard work looks like. But another part of me says that no matter how hard I work, I'll never get this degree. Do you have any advice? Thanks, Matt. Oh, oh, look at this fucker. I wrote graduated instead of graduated from because I wanted to hear you. Oh, fuck you. You asshole. Because I wanted to hear you flip out. All right. So I questioned, I said, where did you take this IQ test? Real IQ tests also test math skills. So I'm wondering if this was a legit one or some bullshit one where they did away with math. math. And can you drop down to college part time? Also, which specific classes are you failing or have failed? Thanks for the swift response. I don't remember where I took the IQ test, but if you know a good one, I'm willing to take it in. Go to queendom.com and it'll give you a ballpark answer. I do know that math is part of the IQ, but it is not possible that the math component is very weak. But is it not possible that the math component is very weak and my other components are just much stronger? It's true, but you 130, that's almost impossible to get a 130 without doing at least average or better in math. I suppose I could drop down to part-time, but if I did that, that, I'd also want to support myself because I would feel weird asking my parents to support me while I have a decent amount of free time, which I have no problem doing. At the time I wrote the original email, I hadn't gotten a full semester grade report back, but now I know that I failed two classes, linear algebra and dynamics. Both were fails, but fails nonetheless. I'll make a payment. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, linear algebra. Um, for those of you who don't know, linear algebra is like, Linear, you know, rise, run, uh, uh, was it A, X plus B? In my day, what was it? A, C, X, whatever, rise over run, decrease the thing. And then you rotate it a lot so you can make shapes. That's not what it really, shut up. And then dynamics, I don't know if that's fluid dynamics. In other words, these are not terribly easy classes. Um, if you didn't pass linear algebra and you really, really tried and it wasn't all because you were choking up, you may just not have the math skills. Um, go take the test on Queendom in case that 130 test that you got was bullshit. Uh, <clears throat> as for what to do, right now I think I might take a semester or a year off to do something actually really hard like working on oil rigs so that I know what real hard work looks like. But another part of me says that no matter how hard I work, I'll never get this degree. Do you have any advice? I think it's a great idea if you took a break. I think it'd be a great, or at least drop down to part time. And either you take an entire break off from college, go work on the oil rigs, and then what I would do is just go online and learn some math. Fuck the teachers. I know this may shock you, but sometimes university professors are not the best. Sometimes they grab a guy who just barely knows English, pays him $12 an hour, shoves him in front of your fundamentals of chemistry class or whatever, and uh, you can't understand it. Every oh, that happened at, when I was in college. I grabbed some kid off the boat and like, here you go. Give us a hundred dollars. Here's your three dollars forty six cents, Chang. Oh no, you speak a good English, very good. Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> Said the deans. Um, take a break. You're starting to freak out. You're failing. There's no reason for you to take more classes to fail again. Take a break. And then while you're working on the oil rig or working some other kind of job, absolutely nothing wrong with making money and paying down your debts. Uh, I would in your spare time do two things of self-study. Right? You're gonna have to do this just like a part-time job, all right? You're not going to college, all right, this is what your new replacement for college is gonna be. Go online, try and study linear algebra by having an online tutor. Not an actual tutor, but you know, I'm sure if I Googled linear algebra, there's gotta be a tutorial online that is put together way better than your professor. And what's great about the internet now is what's really good gets really popular, gets upvoted. Uh, YouTube is a better teacher than all your professors out there, or I shouldn't say all, but very like statistically speaking, it is a guarantee they're better than most professors because they're voted so highly. And so uh, I think that's one potential reason you have failed out of these classes is you just have shitty teachers. That's a very real possibility. Take your IQ test. It could be you're not that good at math. Um, 
Take some classes online through tutorial, teach yourself math, and you'll find, oh, this makes complete and total sense now. This is because it was taught in a better way. And then also, as part of your part-time gig at night, I would start delving into the world of IT and computers. Okay, you're, you can't do calculus. All right, fine. Well, maybe you could program code. Maybe you can understand uh, binary math. You can get in the world of computer networking, computer security, and cybersecurity. Maybe, maybe computer science is the place, or computer engineering is the place for you to go. Well, computer engineering, they're still going to make you take that stuff, too. Try that world. Okay? See if that resonates a little bit better with you. And then I would also try accounting. The reason I say accounting, accounting is not hard, but it is boring as almighty. And you are going to, if you're going to go down the accounting route, you're going to get your CPA, but for now you're just going to sample the world of accounting. And the reason I recommend accounting is that if your dad is in investment banking and he does have the connections, having yourself a CPA, uh, well, having an accounting degree would, would be very good. That would be very applicable to the world uh, that he would get you a job at. Uh, but then when you, if you were to get a CPA, uh, then you would also be able to go into self-employment, do taxes, or go work in industry, or for the big four, or whatever. There's options there. So, math, IT programming, computers, accounting. And you don't have to you don't have to do homework. Just sample. Listen to it. Listen to a tutorial. Just watch it. Is this interesting to me? Is this something I'd be interested in? You know, it'd be the equivalent of me. Okay, I'm going to watch videos on pianos saxophone and trumpet. I'm like, eh, that looks like too many keys. That saxophone looks weird and too phallic -y. I'm going to play the trumpet because that's not phallic at all. Uh, and then I'd study up a little bit more. And then if something seems interesting, follow up on that. But the math one, I would be doing some self-study. I would try to go through some tutorial. Like, let's just start with linear algebra. Find a tutorial on linear algebra. Find one you like and go through the whole thing. See if that doesn't teach you. See if you don't start acing the exams then. And then you know, oh, it's the teacher. You can go back to being a mechanical engineer. All of a sudden you find, oh, man, I really like this coding thing. There's no math involved, but it's logical and it makes sense. And maybe you have a penchant for that. And then accounting would be kind of like, all right, you tried IT. Your IQ test comes back really only more like 110. <clears throat> You're still failing linear algebra and, and, and fluid dynamics. Uh, you can't do calc. Um, you find programming just not logical, you can't do it, then accounting is like your last resort. Still a legitimate degree. Still gives you many outs in terms of self-employment, employment, and different industries and stuff like that. And then it would be very useful in a field that your dad could get you a job in. And unlike you being an English major, where you and are giving a charity job, you being an accounting major would actually be very legitimate, and then you would actually earn your keep there. You wouldn't be like this handicapped uh, affirmative action hire. You'd be a legit employee, right? Uh, and then you actually are carrying your own weight. You're going your own way. But keep in mind, inevitably down the road, you would be getting your CPA, which is a long haul. Tune into the Elkins Hour over on the Older Brother channel. Uh, but that's what I would do. Um, anyway, it's good to see uh, a guy who came from wealth wanting to be his own man and go down his own path. Uh, I think you're guaranteed to do that because you have personally made that resolve and the decision to do that. You're in no rush to get there, but you do need to take a gap year or a gap semester, or certainly drop down to part-time school, and do some self-assessment and figure out if you're capable uh, in doing it. And if so, okay, you can go ahead. Or if you're not capable, finding a good plan B. And so accounting and computers would be one of those plan Bs. Trade, I, I wouldn't go into the trades because frankly, I think you'll be able to do accounting and the offer your dad gave you is just, what, and now you gotta put food on the table. And, and I, I detest uh, nepotism as much as, as much as the next man. But in the end, it's like, oh yeah, you know, I take advantage of what you can because you're gonna die. So, yeah. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. If you are having trouble figuring out what to study, you want to get this book called Worthless. Oh my goodness. Hey, boo boo boy, what's in this book of dick basket? Charts, data, graphs, and a surprising lack of cursing, unlike all my other books. All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.